easy to coach when you're seven and one. That's a piece of cake. But with their record right now, how did they take it right down Broadway? And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. 36 yards on the play. And the offense is saying to itself right now, if only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. The ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get... calendar next weekend and Charles this is a crew that you have to think really is relishing the opportunity to be on the couch for a few days. Yeah they certainly are for this basic partner. They can get caught looking ahead to that couch time while they're playing. Now Willis to throw. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Preston Smith comes in for the sack. That's number four. Sack number four. They had four last week, so he's, he's been down on the ground. Going back to Love. That's complete to Wicks. Dances by him. But he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here. He also picks up a first down. Whatever the discussions are, that time to try to slow down this offense. It has not worked to this point. You have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. Third down, it's Willis. He's got a man. Complete. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. That one goes for 36 yards. Here goes Stroud again. And he is caught. And he's down inside the short yardage on third down, but he was able to pick up a very sizable game. He certainly was, and I think that maybe they were fooled a little bit because you and I both know this is a passing league, and that's not normally a running down, and they fooled them with it. Safety had to make the play. Otherwise, he's still running, and the next thing, he runs right into the goal post. Now Stroud. As this complete to Woods. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. First and 10, it's Stroud. To the right side and caught by Dell. This will give him a yard short. Nice pickup of playing yards on first down. On first down, here's Stroud. Throw left side complete. That's short. And he's brought down. This is... Pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football, and right now I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That'll open for the coordinator. Here's Algier again on second down. Fighting 
through and he's got space. And they will finally get him to the ground at the Texans 37 yard line. All told, it's an even 30 and a first down. Every team in the league always wants explosive plays, breakout plays, and even more so when it's your horse who's had a tough time during the game. Yeah, not that great in the first half. Maybe he can recalibrate here in the third and then carry that over to the fourth. I like that. Recalibrate. Strong. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now. Second and 10, Stroud to throw yet again here. Quick slant to Brown. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucks 21. to get there and get it in your rearview mirror. You really do, don't you? Because now it becomes predominant, and you wonder about... And this is caught right along the sideline. What a job of keeping the toes in bounds there. 43 yards that time. When they needed a play this year, he's certainly been the guy to deliver, and as this season has gone on, he's been awfully consistent and sometimes spectacular. to relax their pursuit a little bit. Meaning, if they just have normal games, they'll get to the 1,000-yard mark. They don't have to force anything. But one of the reasons he's having the year he's having is what I call route-running arrogance. They think there's no one that can cover them, no matter how many people are put, a, put in his direction. Look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the points too, Charles, but they've got to take care of the football and do better here on this possession. It's certainly been a tough stretch partner for both of those units, and they kind of put their defensive mates in a really tough spot there by dropping the ball on the ground, but an easy way to make it up to them. And if you do have those hopes, 500 is not where you want to be at this point of the year. Now, we know they've battled through some rough patches this season, so it now comes down to how they're going to finish. Not out of it. Can't afford any more missteps, though. That's good for 28 yards. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. This will be third and 15. That is caught. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting on third and 15. It's been a very one-sided game so far. They got to change what they're doing right now, don't they? You can't wait till the halftime speech to make it. They're down three touchdowns to this point, needing to put something together as they have it first and 10. Play action. Garoppolo. That is incomplete. An attempt at a deep ball there. They didn't get it. But, boy, they're going to need a few of those to actually hit in order to get back into this game. That they need to in the running game, and they haven't been successful so far. I'm wondering if this is a time to just sell out. Make sure you have eight in the box every time and bring a ninth and sometimes even a tenth to try and stop them from running the ball. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. And this is an offense that's near the bottom of the league in rushing, so defensively coming in, you've got to know you're going to see the ball in the air a lot. And that time, it's a completion and a first down on this opening drive. Gino now to throw. Setting up the screen here. This is Walker. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Nine yards on the play there, and it sets him up first and goal. So they gave up the early touchdown. This has been a pretty good response. Nice drive, taking it down first and goal. And I know Pete that and Charles' defense, they were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? 
So what was the formula that got him down there the first time? Get back to something close to that. And maybe they get this game tied up. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. We know he's got the arm, but watch out for those wheels. Kind of harkens back to guys that used to call the scrambler and the dodger. This guy can make it work with his legs. Field opened up. He took advantage. He's having a great year not to take anything away from him. And Smith, and this throw finds Smith and Jigba. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. Seven catches for him now in this last one, the first down. That connection seemed to work out okay on the first play of the drive. Why not go right back to it? And once again, this defense is left without an answer as they surrender back-to-back -back first downs. of time left but enough certainly to get points out of this drive and they need them right now because they're trailing yeah this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game a minute left more than enough time to string a few completions together and they keep making the connection here's smith now on second down dancing to his left left sideline a dive and it looks like he's got it Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. And that's how you throw for a whole heap of yards in a game. You get efforts like that from your receivers. How about him laying out for that catch? Yeah, excellent. Makes a quarterback look a whole lot better. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it was Malik Willis who took it in himself to cap things off. So there is still time, a little over 50 seconds to go, but this becomes a critical onside kick. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a camper on this one. Now, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when it's... And what is this? They're lining up here to punt on first down. And did they keep it in? They did. They kept it in. It's down close to the goal line at the one-yard line. The field position game often so overlooked, but this offense is going to be backed up deep. What an ideal punt. And now, this stage of the game. They'll try to throw now. Young. And he'll be out of bounds. A good pick up there at 22. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical. They've been crisp. And as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. Mike Vrabel unsure of that last call. He's going to throw out the red flag. Is under review. And we'll get a moment here as they look this one over. Yeah, remember now, the call on the field is what they'll stick with unless they have clear video evidence to the contrary. And I give these officials a lot of credit. Such a tough and demanding job. You and I both know that. Yeah, they make the right call way more often than they get it wrong. After review of the play, the ruling on the field... Second down, Young. Left side on a dime, and it looks like he's got it. 23 yards to pick up there. I know a retirement ceremony is a rocking chair is often one of the major gifts, but don't give this guy one just yet. He may be plus 30, but my goodness, how about that effort? Yeah, he's not that old. Hey, I'm on the wrong side of 32. You, you, you okay? You feeling all right? <laughs> They'll go again with Sanders. And he's brought down. It's a 10-yard gain there, and it sets him up now first and goal. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. If they can get the victory in Glendale. They'll fire deep, looking for more. 
This is caught at the 20. A huge play there for Arizona. 56 yards. That's an execution, and now they're set up nicely. Are they ever? Red zone? I wonder what the next play call is going to be because after a big play like that, a lot of teams like to use the momentum to launch another one. Yes, indeed, that time lucky that the arm was going forward, incomplete pass. They'll set up the screen. The ball comes out, and he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Wow, that ball is not free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Second down, Murray sets to throw. That pass completed to Dorch. And it's a run to run now. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. They'll fake the handoff. Now Watson. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got him there complete. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. A big 30-yard play on third. We expected this defense to be tested by this passing game coming into this one. And there's an example on this first possession of the game. From the 50, it's Watson. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. And that's how you shake off the interception you threw on the opening drive. Come back and throw another strike and gain nice yardage. And I give credit to two people on this one. The man throwing the ball and the person called. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And it's caught. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. And now timeout is whistled as it appears there's a Brown shaken up on the play. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to KC. Here's Jarek McKinnon, his first carry of the ball game. <laughs> Still fighting. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. All told, it's an even 30 and a first down. Not too shabby for his first carry of the game. That's exactly what most teams are looking for. A really good change of pace back. with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. And he's got his receiver, Cooper. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. That one good for 26 and a first down. Well, there's no disputing. He's made some poor throws in this first half, but this was a good one. And you can bet this is an offense that isn't going to pull back. They believe in what he can do. So all you can do is look forward, and they pick up a first down. Out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. Now McKinnon to start the drive. Down the sideline he goes. And he is finally forced out of bounds inside the 30-yard line. It's a big play there from a big play guy, Jarek McKinnon. 47 yards. This doesn't look like things are in sync out there. I agree with that, and it's not a good day when you feel like an incomplete pass. That's caught inside the 20. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. An explosive 38-yard pickup. What a game it's been for this duo. They remind me of a good comedy team. They know how to play off of each other so well. No matter how one riffs, the other's right there to pick them up, and they are shredding them in this ballgame. So, because now you can throw play action off of being able to run the ball effectively. And oftentimes you might want to call Daryl Patterson. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. 96 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. So, how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside looking their shot. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. 
And shedding the tackle, and now some room. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. 187 yards rushing for him now as he has been a central figure in trying to get his guys to the second round. All right, I've got to be careful here. All right, he's on the plus side of 30. There may be a little gray in the beard, but that's not slowing down his speed as far as he's concerned. What are you saying? I'm on the plus side of 30. Well, if you're on the plus side of 30, you all know what I'm on the plus side. <laughs> is just a few minutes away from ending in one-and-done fashion. Young. He'll find Thielen working the middle. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Right off the bat, it's a first down. Back to throw again. Short pass tip, but caught anyway. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. Two yards to loss, and now third and 12. I thought that wasn't a bad time to call this great skill. On third down, Lawrence. That is caught. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. His second catch in this wild card game, and it goes for a first down. Uh, that's a big conversion there on third down, and this has been a great opening drive. You know, at this point, they hate to settle for three, but they've created a fresh set of downs and a first and goal. Once more, ETN. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for. Driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive, but now it's put up or shut up. No doubt about it, because to make that type of... Purdy looking to throw. That's Samuel caught left side. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. 23 yards on the play. Remember, this drive started off following the turnover. And they've taken no time working their way down the short field. Geno now to throw. He hits his target, Lockett. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. And out the diagnose runner pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed down hard there. He was ready for that running play. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Inside the 10. And he's going to be out of bounds here all the way down inside the 10. A big play there for the Niners. 57 yards. I'll tell you what, this is not going to be a fun discussion at halftime for this defense. They've been absolutely taken advantage of in the first half. And here's another play for big, big yardage. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. And they're able to convert on third with a solid gain of 23. That was second down run for Murray. Good work to pick up seven yards there. That gets him into a third and one situation. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the off. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And this is an offense in need of getting a few good things to happen. Here's one right here. They've had their share of struggles in key moments, but that's a nice throw and nice work after the throw. And they're set up now with a first and goal. Now after the Dicker field goal, he's back out ready to send it away. This fielded right at the goal line. Oh, a good return up past the 30. Deontay Hardy, one man to beat. And finally out of bounds, so he doesn't take it the distance. All but five yards shy of the end zone. Back now on offense, the Buffalo 
Buffalo Bills. The big kick return nearly resulted in a play fake, and now Herbert to throw. He's got Allen. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. His second catch of this wild card game, and it goes for a first down. Great mix of play calling so far. Three runs, three passes. All three passes have been completions. First and goal. I think on defense now, you have to almost take a chance. Rely on your scouting. Pick a play you think they would run. Throw the pick six, and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. Stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance. And this will not work out. The Chargers able to recover. A second quarter onside kick there that failed. Is that something that maybe they had dialed up before this game started? It feels like it. situation you know and, and the right approach but in this case though that didn't happen the fellow lugging the load he's the one who got to reap the reward yeah there was no touchdown vulture here and they work this well up field across the 45 that's good for 28 yards well we talk all the time about playing every time right that fourth seed should they actually be hosting because sometimes it turns out that division winner has a lesser record than wild card teams that get in, and some people think that'd be a more fair way of doing things. I gotta tell you, I personally like it. The winning a division title, I don't care what the division, how it's ranked, it still means something to me. I like the fact that they get there. I think that that's the reason you have the divisions. If you didn't just stack them all up and take the best six records, but there's a division for a reason, the champion hosts the first round. And the first rule of thumb in building a team, build a team. Into that here. First and ten as this new drive starts. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. He's on his way. And he's going to be out of bounds here all the way down inside the ten. 69 yards rushing for him already. A terrific first quarter here to begin the playoffs. And Mr. Reliable shows those legs again here in the playoffs. And what do coaches tell us all the time? In the playoffs, the team that runs the football well will win. Hurts sets up to throw it. Fires the quick slam. A.J. Brown's got it. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. Boy, he ran free there after the catch as that winds up going for 38. Well, he looked his way quite a bit in this first half, and with good reason. You can see it there. He is such a handful defensively. Just too hard to keep him under wraps. It delivers a big play here for this offense. You don't throw everything away at this point. Stay on course. You stay on course. Obviously, you want to eliminate the things that have caused you to be down double digits. But at the same time, you're not getting it all back in one play. Keep going. The game plan was put in there for a reason. A gain of 32 that time. And that here, he's got to start taking better care of it. Yeah, really should have been back-to-back -back drives with interceptions. He's lucky there. Oh, he's got some breathing room. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 120 yards rushing for him now as he goes over the century mark here in the wild card round. Just about every coach we talk to says the crowd shouldn't affect us. That shouldn't be an issue. And then the next breath, they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the system as he gets the sack. So after that sack, Hurts and the Eagles, tough spot here, third and long. He's going to look deep for Watkins. This is caught inside the 15. And now following the completion, we're going to get a stoppage here for an injury. Well, now they're going to come. They'll try to throw now. Prescott. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. He got 29 yards that time. Now, that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't gone their way, and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit. And they get one here in the passing game. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance. Here's Prescott. And this 
is caught right along the sideline. What a job of keeping the toes in bounds there. Give him 32 on the play. <laughs> well, this game has certainly had no shortage of offense. Both teams have been revved up from the start. And here's yet another big play. Boy, both defense have just got to be dragging out there because they've been run ragged throughout. So now then, 